Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at the Vargo Titanium Hinge Wallet. Let's check it out. So the Vargo Titanium Hinge Wallet arrived to me on this flat piece of cardboard. It was just zip tied to the cardboard like this. So you can see there's nothing really to look at, just some features and whatnot stated on there. Put that off to the side. But now I'll give you guys a nice close up of the Vargo Titanium Hinge Wallet. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. So the Vargo Titanium Hinge Wallet features a dual pocket hinge system. The credit card pocket features a pull tab and can hold up to 10 credit cards and a cash pocket that can hold your folded bills. And everything is held together with an elastic strap. The card pocket is made of genuine leather and is riveted to the titanium plate. And speaking of that titanium plate, it has a pretty cool hex pattern on the front along with the obligatory bottle opener on the very top. So what about the dimensions here? It comes in at 2.2 inches by 3.74 inches. And by my weight test, it comes in at 1.9 ounces that's 54 grams. All right, so now let's determine if the Vargo Titanium Hinge Wallet is the right wallet for you. So as you can probably see, only being 2.2 inches by 3.74 inches, it's a fairly small minimalist wallet. If I hold up a credit card next to it, let me turn it around, you can see the size of the credit card compared to the wallet itself. So that's pretty nice and it only weighs 1.9 ounces. So when I was carrying it, I barely noticed I had it in my pocket, which is pretty standard these days for minimalist wallets, which some of you guys might like that. Some of you might not. Some of you wanna be able to make sure you still have your wallet in your pockets. And I can understand that too, because I've had a heart attack a few times not thinking the wallet was still in my pocket. And I'm not even talking about this specific wallet, I'm just talking about minimalist wallets in general. So it has this titanium plate on the back here with this hex pattern, which I think is pretty cool. And of course we have a bottle opener right on top. Now I do appreciate this titanium plate here because it does give some rigidity to the wallet itself. And of course that helps with not being able to bend the wallet once your credit cards are in there. And then the front here, we have a genuine leather pocket with a pull tab that we can put our credit cards in there up to 10. And this isn't one of my credit cards here. This is just a demo card that was sent along with the wallet. The choice to use genuine leather here genuinely confuses me because they made the choice to use titanium here for this plate, but then give us the cheapest possible option for leather for the credit card pocket here. And I have to bring that up because this is at a $50 price point and I can understand, yeah, they have a really nice titanium plate back here, but then chose to give us the cheapest possible leather right here that might last you a few years with everyday use. They could have gave us a top grain version, charged us a couple extra bucks and that wallet could last decades not just years. Now that being said, I do like the texture on this genuine leather. It is very grippy. So when I'm holding it in my hands, it doesn't feel like it's just gonna slip out, especially being as small as it is. And then if I give you a close up of the stitching here, I don't think this stitching is the best I've ever seen in my life. In fact, I think it's pretty bad. I mean, look at right there, it's just a little bit uneven there. It doesn't look good at all, which again raises more questions about the durability and longevity of this wallet. But I do like the rivets that they have right here holding this genuine leather pocket to the titanium plate here. So I do like this. I think this is gonna last you a long time. I just don't think this leather is gonna last very long at all. It does feature a pull tab here and I just did a review on the Distill Wally Bifold 5.0 and I got a little spoiled there because that wallet had a magnet here in the pull tab that when you weren't using it, it just very neatly clung itself right back to the wallet because of the magnets. And the reason I like that feature so much is this exact reason right here. When you have a pull tab, it just flaps around dangling and is very sloppy looking and ugly in my opinion. But of course, there's no cards in there yet. We're gonna test out the max capacity 10 cards and see if that helps with this dangly little pull tab here. So everything is held together pretty nicely with this elastic strap. And if I pry it open like this, you can see it's just sewn into this front leather piece right here. So hopefully the elastic doesn't break, especially being sewn into this leather piece right here, because I just don't like how this 
stitching looks right here. It just doesn't look durable. If I'm wrong, hopefully this wallet proves me wrong, but I'm just looking at it and uh, I don't have high hopes. So while I was showing you the elastic, I'm guessing you can already see how this wallet works here. So we have this pocket right here with the pull tab that can hold up to 10 credit cards. And if I pry this apart in the back with a titanium plate, that is where you store your cash. So this is the dual pocket design right here. And now you can start to see why they call it the hinge wallet because it just hinges right there on the bottom where it's riveted together. So that being said, let's start stuffing some cards in here. So let's just jump right to the max 10 cards. It's supposed to be the maximum the hinge wallet here can handle. So just pry it open, stick them all in at once. And yes, I'm using my flat demo cards here for this demonstration and yeah, it's not a problem at all. And anytime you have an elastic band holding the cards together, you can probably always get more cards in there just because it'll stretch out to hold more cards. But just by the way this pocket is shaped right here, I believe that's gonna be the max because if we add any more cards in there, they're just gonna start popping out of the top as you can see right here. And I can't get that one to press back down. So if I just take that out and press it back down, yeah, I guess. That's still okay, but you can see it has a little dip right there just based on the shape of this pocket, which that's fine. I'm gonna put that 10th card back in there and let's start checking out the functionality here with this pull tab. And speaking of this pull tab, you can see it definitely cinched up a little bit better once we had those 10 cards in there. Just pull the strap up. You can see the cards come out very nicely and I do not have a problem with the functionality of this wallet at all. Just do the fan method, push the cards back in, strap gets sucked back in, functionality's there. So let's get that card back in there. Just any old spot will do for now for demonstration purposes. And now let's check out the cash compartment back here. So here's five American dollar bills here, and we're gonna have to fold these into quarters and thirds. I like quarters just a lot faster. Pry open that back cash pocket. There we go. And because it features an elastic strap, it's going to hold those bills and cards in here pretty securely. And of course, if I do a shake test, nothing's going to pop out. I didn't think it was going to. Getting your bills out just as easy. So I really like the functionality of this wallet. Honestly, I like the design of this wallet. I like this dual pocket system here, cards in the front. I think this is considered the front. And the cash pocket in the back. And that being said, let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about this wallet. All right, so what do I like about the Vargo Hinge Wallet? Well, as I just mentioned, I do like the design of this wallet. I like this dual pocket system with the credit cards here in the front pocket with the pull tab. And I think a 10 card capacity here is pretty solid. And I think the functionality is there. And the same deal here with this cash pocket. Yes, you have to fold your bills into quarters or thirds, but that's pretty standard with minimalist wallets. And speaking of this cash pocket here, I only demonstrated five bills folded into quarters, but there's no doubt this can hold a ton more, especially with this elastic being able to stretch out like this. I like the choice of using titanium back here for the plate. Yes, they could have easily used a cheaper stainless steel and this titanium drives up the price a little bit, but it makes for a lighter wallet. And I also like the grippy texture here on the wallet. It doesn't feel like it's just gonna slip out of my hands when I'm holding it. And I like the minimalist nature of this wallet. It's super small. I mean, you can see I have the credit cards in there and it's almost the exact same size as a credit card except for this titanium plate right there. It just hangs out the bottom a little bit, but I really like how small this wallet is. It fits into your pocket very nicely, and when you take it out, it feels nice in the hand. All right, let's talk about what I don't like about the Vargo Titanium Hinge Wallet. Well, the main thing is I'm not really sure why they used genuine leather. If you guys don't already know, genuine leather is one of the lowest quality leathers that you can get. They could have easily charged 10 more dollars from this wallet and gave us top grain leather. And as I mentioned earlier, this could have lasted you decades as opposed to just years. Also, I'm not the biggest fan of the stitching here, it looks a little shoddy to me. And now let's get to the price point at 50 bucks. Because it's made of genuine leather, I think it's overpriced for what you're getting here. I'm thinking about 35 bucks, 40 tops for this wallet. So would I recommend the Vargo Titanium Hinge Wallet? Yes and no. This is a hard one for me because I actually do like 
the style and the functionality of this wallet. But it's hard for me to recommend a wallet made of genuine leather just because I know it's not gonna last very long, especially considering the $50 price point. So for style and functionality, I'm gonna say yes, I recommend it. But for quality, I'm gonna have to say no. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Vargo Titanium Hinge Wallet? Now, I bought this for about 50 bucks on Amazon, and if you wanna check this out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. Yes, that Amazon link is an affiliate link, so if you buy anything through that link, the channel gets a small kickback. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, and go!